one of the most trying times was 1970. You will recall the black power struggle. It's a period in time referred to as the 1970 Black Power Revolution, led by the late NJAC leader Macandal Daga, then Geddes Granger, and Dave Darbro, now Kafra Cambon, and Ifibo Wilkinson, all students of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. I saw it was something that people really uh, needed, some kind of expression uh, of belonging to something, of struggling to something. Mr. Camborn said the Black Power Movement of the United States and the struggle for equal rights in Canada by students of the Sir George Williams University in Montreal ignited a passion in UWE students. Mr. Camborn, who was 23 years old at the time, said they closely monitored the developments abroad. A march on February 26, 1970 descended on the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception and the demonstrators invaded the sacred space. There were 56 days of marches and protests throughout the country. Mr. Cambon and others were arrested yet again and taken to the Coast Guard headquarters in Chagaramas. A state of emergency had been declared. Without being told where they were being taken, the men were whisked away to the remote and desolate Nelson Island. Some of us did not stay very long, uh, but the, some stayed for the full length of the emergency, which was about eight months, either seven or eight months. Um, some of us were taken out um, after a few days, maybe a week, and taken to Her Majesty's headquarters on Frederick Street. Asked what, if anything, was achieved from the 1970 revolution, Mr. Cambon said employment practices have certainly changed and non-whites can now own properties. The country was just racist, right? I, I, not that I was looking for one, make no mistake about it, but I could not, I would not have been able to get a job in a bank, right? Uh, because of my color. <laughs> 